Hello, Orcut artists. We have an artist interview today with Joy Henderson. Joy is a graduated Orcut student. She graduated last year from Orcut Academy, and we have the privilege of getting to chat with her by Zoom today. Joy, would you tell us just a little bit about how art became a thing in your life? Yeah, so I've always kind of loved and admired art throughout my entire life. I used to love to sketch when I was younger, but when I jumped back into art, it was definitely more painting, and I just took up to that. And a lot of what I've seen is acrylic painting, but we were just chatting that you've started doing a little oil painting. I was wondering if you could show us an example of acrylic and oil, and maybe tell us a little bit about the difference, what you're learning about those two mediums. Yeah, so... Acrylic paint is what I would say most artists use, especially more beginner, because it is water-based, so you can just wash it off and it dries a lot quicker. And then for oil, oil is a little bit trickier because you have to have different mediums and it is oil-based, so you can't just go to your sink and wash off your paint brushes and it can be toxic. So with caution, <laughs> this is an oil painting. And because of the drying time, it allows the artist to work with the different colors and the textures by like just giving it more time. And with that, you can create blends better. And overall, it just creates a more realistic painting. Can you share a little bit of your painting setup? You're you sitting at the desk that you paint at sometimes, yeah. but you had another spot that you like to paint. Yeah, so I have my setup right here, and I have, these are all my oil paints, just because it's easier to keep them, like, bunched together, and there's my palette, which you can't just wash off, because they are toxic, and that is where I clean my paintbrushes because you can't wash them off. And then all my paints there. So I have a little easel back there that's holding that up. And that's where I work, especially with bigger paintings. But with my smaller paintings, I'll just work at my desk. What would you say has been your process in working towards a painting? Do you, I know some artists do sit down and they start straight on a canvas. Some artists sketch. What's kind of your routine in getting ready to do a work of art? It really just depends. Sometimes I just will kind of gather ideas in my brain and then just go for it. But other times where I want to be more specific, I will grab a sketchbook and sketch my ideas. And also I love having reference photos that I can just look back at. And sometimes I will just paint a really quick and loose painting so I can kind of get that idea of what I'm going for once I start the big painting. So this is actually a smaller version of another one I have. Would you show us your sketch and your <laughs> original or your finished painting again? So that was the first one I did. And then this. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so it was a really fun process just to experiment and see this one come to life. You shared that last year when you were doing high school still, that you had the practice of getting up every morning and doing some artwork before school, which was super impressive to me because that's early. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was just so, I just became in love with painting. So a lot of the times I would have my alarm set for like 5.30 in the morning and I would wake up and just kind of like roll out of bed and paint for a bit, check the clock and then be like, okay, I should go to school now. <laughs> but it was just a nice way to start my mornings. And I knew that even if I came home with like a lot of homework, I would have still had that time in the morning to kind of just be creative. And one of the things we talked about is not every everything that we do is a finished work of art. Sometimes it's practice or we didn't know it was going to be practice and it turned out to be practice. So when you were getting up last year and you were painting every morning, would you say how many uh, finished paintings would you say that you accomplished in a week? Um, it depended on the size, but I would say about one 
-hmm. And now looking back, I think there are definitely a few out of a bunch that I just really love. What role does art have for you right now? And is it still painting or are there other things that are artistic that are also kind of piquing your interest? So it's definitely taken more of the back burner now, but I still absolutely love art. And whenever I find those like few extra hours in the day, I love to squeeze in just painting. And I also love photography and baking and cooking. So I've really been loving that, especially with being home so much. I love to cook for my family. Anything we haven't covered that you would want to say, any encouragement that you have or thoughts that you have? I would say to just keep practicing. In the beginning, it's going to be a slower and harder process because maybe you're looking at it and you're not absolutely loving it and you're seeing all these other artists and you're comparing yourself to them to them but I think it's just so important to take your time and really allow yourself to improve without the criticism and just practice I think that is so important for me and if you're painting and you mess up paint over it I have so many canvases that I can look at and say well before that was there there was this whole other painting on it so that's happened a lot of times where it's like, there's actually a secret painting under there. I just didn't like how it turned out. So I think that's really important too. And don't be afraid to mess up. If you want to practice your colors, take a piece of paper or just a small canvas and let yourself work and kind of explore the other side of the creativity before rushing yourself into it. Joy, thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you for sharing a little bit about your process. That's encouraging to hear how it's looked different and even now looks different. Thank you for interviewing me. This was so much fun. And I hope any students that are wanting to get into art, you just go for it.